people uh it's Cass, your host doing the most on a sunday afternoon i am friday as you, as you can tell bar couldn't they we're all tired um even though he's got the exact same time as us he's feeling fresh and we now know why but you lot won't but um other than that yeah look liverpool man united today i, I would expect every arsenal fan to have a united shirt whether it's literally on you or not because yesterday i had my arsenal shirt on you get me so is what it is. We keep it moving. Oh, we, we keep it moving. You know what I'm saying, lads? We, let's walk and go. You know what I'm saying? Let's walk and go. You know, so that's my manager. For about, the next, for another about a month, five weeks, that's my four-game manager. You know what I'm saying? Um, But we're joined by Monts as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to get absolutely toxic. And then, but who better to, you know, uh, <laughs> who better to start the pot than this prick called Jordan Cunley? <laughs> <laughs> oh dead. yeah now my people my people it's your dark skin man from the motherland if you didn't know before today you go understand and maybe just for a minute top of the league mate my boys they play ball <laughs> let's go mm. smash the light yeah. right, my people i right, i feel like you need a intro you know you might have to say yeah man do rec diaries or something like you know what i'm saying <laughs> Oh, my, that is my intro, isn't it? If you watch the Direct Diaries, Direct Diaries. But um, now, nah, man, we're here. We're here. We're outside. Mm. Big game today. Obviously not ours for you. But um, yeah, man. <laughs> There's nothing. You, it's, it's funny now because usually you're coming in, you've got smiles, you're chirping, you're trying I'm to smiling, find everyone. I'm, I'm smiling. Hey, you, you just, you know what's happening. You know what's going on. You know what so, it is? It's, it's, it's months, isn't it? Like, months brings... The energy that like, he brings a lot of energy in it and it make it, it affects me right, right. yeah like i feel like a villain sometimes and i feel like a victim now do you understand like it's all months hi months we're not friends as of today so as i said uh how long have we got i get out then isn't it um but yeah we move uh we're not my friend no more guys i'm joking once gone we got we've got an hour three hours and ten minutes or is that what it is yeah so again, until then, we're going to war. We're going to war. I no, can't lie. Like, I'm like, 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 on, 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 on like a G thing. You, you seem a bit like I remember last game going in. Last time going into this game, you were like, "Man, United, it's not a game I like to go into. It's harder than the Arsenal game. This is yeah. one that I'm really not looking forward to." And I can't lie, I'm sensing it yet again. Like you're not looking forward to this game. You're looking. I, at never, I never, I, I never really look forward to going to Old Trafford. Apart from actually, I think it was a couple of years ago when we was just four nils and five nils at one point. Remember when, when it was that like, real bad? At that point, there was confidence. Obviously, I still think Liverpool are a great team. I don't think we're as good as what we were like two years ago. Obviously, but let's keep it a buck. Like this is Man United's Cup final today, so I'm not going to expect them to just roll over and for us to go and beat them five nil. You know what I'm saying? I still think we win the game. I actually think we win this game. I think we're back for revenge. I think this game, we, we look at it like, we're not going to look at it like the FA Cup and kind of treat these men like they're just some any, any well lads. Like, yeah, they're well lads, but they're not any well lads in it. They're still Man United. So I think for me, I don't know, man. I, I just I just don't want to see Cass doing that. Oh, you man are so good and we're so shit and da 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 da. da. Listen, we're, we're going to win. But I don't want it, like, Cass has been confident saying he's going to win this whole week. So just because he's lost to Chelsea and, and Cole Palmer, you know what I'm saying? They got fists up by Cole Palmer. I don't want the narrative to change in it. You know what I'm right. saying? Keep your chest. We must win. You know what I'm saying? Arsenal done up, done up right. It's killing me, but they done up right in it. So we're going to have to go do up United if we do. Yeah. Um, we're, 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 we're definitely crashing the party today. We're Come definitely- on. Yeah, no, it's it. I don't care Come what's on. happened away Come from on. like I do care to be fair. I didn't that 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 the last two results have hurt, man, innit? So it, uh, it is what it is. No one likes losing to or losing to Chelsea, innit? The scumbags, innit? But you know, they're all flipping twerking probably for Liverpool today, which is fine. 
because they don't want Arsenal winning the league or anything like that. But for me, derbies are always different. We it's like last time in FA Cup when we got told we was going to get smoked, didn't happen. We played a strong team again. You got Atlanta at home. You have to play, they have to play another strong team again. Um, so, in my opinion, I've got a bit of confidence with this one just because Mons knows, you man know, especially for yourself because you've got your own derby. Form goes out the window. Desire means who wants it more, who's going in for those tackles and so forth and so forth, in my opinion. That's recently. one thing we've known time and time again, Cass, is that Man United don't have desire. When it comes mm -hmm. to 50-50s, most of your players aren't putting in the effort they need to to win that 50-50. They're putting in a 30, it's 30-70, it's straight up. Like, And you can even look at going into the end of games, even if you guys, let's be honest, you guys are one or two up against Liverpool. You know yourself and the team knows they're not going to be confident. Even in the 90th minute, 2-0 up, there's no confidence in that team that they're going to walk away with a result. That They're probably still going to you know, fall apart, concede a, a few last-minute goals. So I really can't see this game going any other way but Liverpool absolutely dominating you back to front. You might get a goal or two, but... It's do, you know it do, you know it do you know what it is for me? Is You know that spiral where a team is a bit off-form? Like, like, let's say Man United just drew and then they just lost in the manner they did. Sometimes I feel like there's going to be a churn of a result in it, but then sometimes it can sink. But this is on Man United, bro. Like, who's got, who's got the cojones? Like, I'm not being funny. But I'm pretty sure a lot of these players got probably a dress down, not just from Ineos, but from the upper upper uh, upper man too. Because bro, they're fighting for their careers as well at the same time. You know, it's not just a Man United shirt; their own careers. So, you know, big game player Marcus Rashford. You know, he's got it's crazy. You know, he scored six goals I think against City. I think he's got six against Chelsea. I'm pretty sure he's got six against Arsenal. He's got seven against Liverpool. Like, it is like yeah, it's true. I remember this. Jules said this about the FA Cup too. But look what happened. You just never know in this game. Hamza, what are you saying, man? Um, obviously, your team's obviously put some pressure on, much-needed pressure for us today. You've, yeah. got your, you've got your United shirt on today, innit? You're all red. <laughs> oh, no. uh, can't say, I, I can't, I can't so By the way, big up, for your, big up for your video. Hamza, you know what? Never again am I going to get onto you about, like, you know, like the fake, like, fake fan. I'll never put you as a fake fan anyways, but I'm not going to mock you no more. You got you travel night and day for your manager, and he responded to you. Smile, gave you a cheeky little smile. <laughs> you cheeky little smile, you know. Let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? He knows. He knows. That's what I'm saying, man. People call me Glory Hunter, man. I'm standing outside the hotel from like five in the morning, man, just to see him. Like, no, no, like, got... When he when he saw you, the one thing he smiled at, he was like, oh, "That's a good bold head, man." <laughs> yeah, he told me. Listen, he just spinning. <laughs> Yeah, big up to Guardiola, man. Listen, hundred percent. Listen, they, yes, they win, and Arsenal win should motivate Liverpool. But I think I'm smelling blood there. I don't think United are gonna throw the towel so easily. I think United players have to show heart today. If they've they've disappointed United fans today, if they want to put a little smile on their their faces, like this is the day. This is the day that you don't need. You don't need that skill, whatever it is. You just need the heart to fight. And I think that, that there's more pressure with Liverpool, especially after losing to Man United in the FA Cup. And United are not under pressure. I'm glad United lost against Chelsea because that gives them motivation to beat Liverpool, to get their fans on their side again. And mm. I, think, I think, you know, Liverpool come there, like they must win. But United don't have that much pressure as much as Liverpool. And I just believe that, you know, this is a game of a derby. This will show who, who wants to play for the badge. This will show who wants to care and love for United. The fan base should make tra all Trafford rocking today. Make sure it's an intimidating stadium for Liverpool. Rock them so much. Don't let them go, man. Literally, rock them every time they get the ball, boo them. Every time they you're, get the you're, ball, you're a man new fan they today, then, Pamza. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna say who I'm supporting, but I'm just saying I'm more I'm giving what I would suggest that exactly what I would want from if I was United. Well, you're showing your colors right here, right now. What are you talking Listen, about? Listen, I, I hate United more than any club in the world, yeah. But I'm saying, like, United fans, yeah, listen, we this is today will show Old Trafford has to be rocking today, just one more day, just just you got two more games to rock it. When Arsenal pop in and this no, guy we, pop in. No, no, no. We need to two results, people respect you, man. People respect you. United can win today. 
Don't dispute Man United. Don't don't disregard them as if they're not going to win. I can't lie. We need to roll over for Arsenal. Like I said, Mason Mount in goal settings. Like, just pretending it. Like, he needs a game getting some minutes in goal. Like, we need to see... I don't care if he gets smashed. You know what? Just, just a little, little, little two nil, nice one. Then put Anana back in, and we're all good in it. Like, we need to roll over for Arsenal, but it's not going to happen. The thing is, I can't lie. My, if, if Liverpool win today, yeah, Kunle, they win today, it's over. You no, know, it's over. The league's theirs. I can't lie. The league is theirs. I can't. Need, I'll still, so, I'll still be on loan to early. Arsenal. No, you know why it's not early. I can't help but look at their fixtures, bro. And I look at it. I I can't lie. In this title race, I look at all teams and I think all teams are dropping points. I think somewhere, somehow in the next eight games, every single one of the teams are all going to drop points in games. I just don't know which games it's going to be, but I feel like neither of them are going to be faultless for the end of the season. Because look, we've seen Arsenal are currently on a 10-game unbeaten run. It might even be longer. Kunle, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, City... Haven't really. They're they're, they're going to pick up. Eleven. Games. You've not lost in 18, 20 games or something. You haven't yeah, lost, but, but you've not. Like, come on, like you've not. Your performances, especially in the most recent games in the bigger teams, haven't been there. So City have been good. They've picked up points, but I feel like you guys are just getting over the line at the moment, rather than putting teams away the way you should be. So I just feel like somewhere, somehow... Bro, 4-1 and 4-2, bro. They're doing their thing, mate. 4-1 and 4-2, their last two. I just no, want no pressure, yeah. We we prefer not to have pressure. I think, I don't know what. Listen, Liverpool... Bro, big bad league. treble Liverpool. winners, bro. What are we talking about, about no pressure, bro? What no, are we talking about? You lot are the I treble winners. The pressure, I'm just you, you, you need all the pressure. Listen, I'm sitting there. We're sitting there comfortably just watching, yeah? But I've seen Liverpool capitulate two games to go. I don't trust Liverpool. I don't trust Arsenal. I'm going. I'm giving. I'm not giving up until the last. Until that p- title is given to that guy. I know it's definitely not going to be Arsenal. Definitely, I. I think. <laughs> but Liverpool have got easy run. You're right. But easy football. Football. Boy, let me tell you something. They. I think Liverpool can they deliver when pressure's on? Yeah, they've never done it. They've never done it when pressure's on. And when they've done when when pressure's been on. Yeah, when that that Gerard era, bro. There were two games away to winning the title. Two games. And they just capitulated. That's Liverpool in terms of... Like, that's that's Liverpool. That's why I don't give up. Like, Liverpool, I smell blood. I'm seeing, yo, you're conceding against Sheffield United. Yo, you're scraping wins against Brighton. The Arsenal just smoked. I'm thinking, yo, I'm believing. I'm seeing something there. I'm seeing something might happen. Jones is right. You can't just say winning this game means everything. Liverpool are not going to win all the games. Mark my words, you'll see. And the fan base will see. I'm, I'm smelling blood. I don't know where. But something's happening, guys. Something good will happen. One of the games, bro. It's going to rock them a bit. I and I think that's when seat can pounce. I what God says, inshallah. And I hope all of you that are United fans make the off uh, and, and prayers on the 27th of night of Ramadan so we can, you know, hope. Hope that it doesn't happen. Uh, James, what is the day today? Uh, glory, glory, man. You know, big up James. Uh, Godson says Liverpool are sausage smokers. Whoa, why for that one? <laughs> and he says, uh, Go says, I hope United don't throw like Villa did for City. Yeah, I suppose so, man. Uh, Villa got smoked, but you know, people like to do the what ifs and buts and maybes, you know. Oh, but they've done a participation trophy, they attack trophy. Oh, let's applaud them. They actually tried a trophy. But did you get a point? Did you get three points? No. So here's what is big up brave, brave Emery in it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, there's 500 of you in the building. Please smash the like. Look, just listen. If you don't mind listening quickly, everyone that's got an account, not the people that don't have accounts that watch through, obviously, just normal YouTube and stuff like that. It takes two seconds of your life. Not even a two seconds. It's a quick fun button it helps the stream you know how it goes man you hear this probably every single stream that you go on but it's definitely much appreciated look we got one team running away from the chat crazy in it crazy times you don't even want to hear the smoke but yeah not i can't lie man i know it's probably maybe it's a bit too early to call the league from this but it's the, the way i look at it is momentum and that's and i just feel like with liverpool's momentum the only team after this that there's going to be a blip is West Ham away, yeah, maybe. Don't have momentum though. That's why I say literally every all three of the teams. Yeah, have yeah. City got has got momentum, but they still got to go play hard Champions League fixtures midweek and stuff like that. Like they got to go and do it at Madrid. They got to focus on Madrid a lot. 
And obviously for them, you can go look at their run. It's quite easy up until the Tottenham game, which got rescheduled towards the end of the season, I believe. So that's the only game I see is a blip for City. In terms of Wait, Arsenal, do you, Arsenal, do you, do you Arsenal see, um, go on. Do you see Klopp playing a weekend sign for the Europa League games? I don't. Yeah. I don't think he can afford to play a weaker side against Atalanta. Like people think that's Atalanta. I think of it wrong though. I don't think whether, whether it's he can afford to. Klopp always has in Europa who's League. The game, wait, who's let's who's the next game? Who's the game after Atalanta? That's the better question. Oh my! The way that I see it is, is Klopp oh. doesn't respect the Europa League. Uh, you're right. You're right. It's Crystal Palace at home. Yeah, he, he doesn't respect home. the Europa League. So you're you're gonna see the literally. He right does What he done in the last round? He Did doesn't. He doesn't. Respect. Respect. Did you see what he did to Sparta Prague? He played a lot of kids, though. No, they no, no, a few, no. In the second leg, in the second leg, yeah, they, they played quite a few. But that was yeah, because Europa, like, Europa Salah Europa and them not needed minutes. They, they needed Europa, minutes. Europa, they're walking. They got set up a very good game. Oh, Hamza got serious. He took off the glasses, you know. I had to take off the glasses because you told me Crystal Palace are home. I'm thinking, bro. That's one, your bogey, that's one of your bogeys, isn't it? I even even that game Palace yesterday, home. Yeah. I don't have faith in these guys. Mateta, I don't believe in Mateta, man, gave me a win at oh, Anfield. I don't know why. Mm. Like, I they, think they Europa League, League man. Europa League, yeah, bro, they've had an, these guys are lucky. They've got like, I think some Atlanta, then semi against some shitty team, and then they've got Bayern because in the final, if they meet them. Bro's like, it's you a joke. Ben, you know, it more than likely be Benfica. You, you looking yeah, like Benfica, who was second in 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 in, in Portuguese league, man. Come on. I man. mean, I mean, Fulham's got. I mean, Liverpool still got to go Fulham away and Everton away and West Ham. Away. That's three back to back. Bro, and then, but I'm, ooh, Everton ooh, away. They got Aston Villa away as well. What the hell? I know Liverpool's running. Right ain't, ain't cool, sir. You know, Everton, Everton away. Shit, Do you trust Everton away? I don't trust this this Liverpool. No, 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 yeah, no, that's not a derby, bro. I don't trust. I don't trust. A lot of those games, cast people are building up to be something they ain't, man. Liverpool pump all those teams in the. If this was no, literally in the middle of the season, you would say Liverpool to win all four of those games. Light work. No, 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 no. Jules, be realistic. Yeah, Liverpool lost at home yesterday to Newcastle. Aston Villa, Aston Villa, Aston Villa. Yeah, you don't know what's going to turn up. Liverpool typically away from home is Tottenham's weirdly good away from home. Yeah, better than I think. I think you're better away from home than you are at home sometimes. I think because there's less pressure. I think there's a lot more pressure you at home at this moment. I've like, seen you against Luton. Bro, why are you hyping Spurs, bro? George no, knows their shit. You have to give them props the way they set up, the way Anne sets up against big teams away from home. He's been good, bro. Like, you have to give him props regardless of how much you hate them. West Ham or West Ham, Fulham are being quite good against the Liverpool. They have good battles, even at Anfield. So I can see why Liverpool fans would be like, no, go look at City's run compared to our run. I think City might have the easier run, bro. No, 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 Liverpool. Listen, no one, no, every, even Liverpool fans who live in Liverpool, they know that Liverpool derby is a lie, man. It's not a derby, man. It's a joke. It's jokes. No one trusts that as a derby. It's not like North London derby, bro, or Manchester derby. Bro, the, I've never seen a derby that is just a mauling every year. And then, and then your ex players like McManaman, Everton fan playing for Liverpool, Carragher, Everton fan playing for Liverpool, Michael Owen, Everton players for Liverpool. Bro, that's not a derby. Bro, imagine United City that is mad. Not London that is mad. Bro, you don't know. No one knows what's going to happen. Everton, Liverpool derby. Bro, it's the easiest derby in the world. There's no derby that I just say, ah, what's the point? Bro, don't even call it a derby. Just say it's Liverpool Everton. I don't believe Liverpool Everton. Fulham won. Ah, bro. I, how can I trust Fulham in this season? They don't have a strike up front. Well, if so we got. I've just seen their runs easy, man. Well, I'm looking at this year. The last time. Wow. Wow. Um, the last time ever and beat Liverpool at home. Last time ever and beat Liverpool. What the You're f? You're going back probably like 2010 or something. Wasn't it COVID? Wasn't it COVID? COVID season, though? Robbie, you hit the nail on the head. It's 2010, bro. Yeah, bro. That's, that's when Arteta was playing for Everton, bro. <laughs> no, I tell you, 2010 in the league was the last time ever and beat Liverpool. Madness. And I think Atleta was in the lineup. I bet Atleta was playing. No, wait, didn't, they, didn't they win during uh, the COVID season? Even no? Pienaar, them man, bro. Yeah, well, oh, Leighton Baines. Yeah, I think it was Wigan back then. Like, Leighton Baines might have been Wigan at that point. But um, yeah, look, they do collect a couple draws though. Like a couple years ago, Everton drew with they've them there. Yeah, but yeah, they, they got they might have a draw in them, especially the way Daesh. Uh, well, yeah, but let's let's be honest though. We're we're looking at this is probably the worst Everton team that they've played in a long time because Everton have always like trickled above like mid table top like even top half of the table sometimes. But 
this year is the year that they've literally been sitting above relegation, barely scraping, uh, uh, um, like literally a point or two above. I can't see Everton getting anything from this game. Even Sean Dyche can put eleven at the back line. Yeah, still- yeah, you know what? You're, you're right. There's too much. There's too much flexibility in Liverpool's like front line for them to even keep. I, I believe for Everton to keep some any sort of clean sheet. This is not. Yeah, but it's a garbage thing. But you know who Man United's got at centre back today? Have a guess. Have a have a guess who Man United centre backs are for today. No, blockheads. Huh? Blockheads at the back. No. That's one of them. Blockhead. And who else? Isn't the rest... Is it Evans? Is it him and Evans? No, nope. Kabamwala Kaba or something. Kabamwala. <laughs> Kabamwala. Kabamwala, yeah. One of our young bucks has to go... The guy that was going like this to the fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be fair, I can't lie. I see a bit of a player in Kabamwala. I think he's actually... I think he should have had a lot more game time this year. He looks like he's quite decent for a young buck. But in a magnitude of a game like this, I don't know how his nerves are going to hold up. That's that's look, Man United's back line in, in theory. A Maguire Campbell partnership should work because one's way more agile than the other, one's a bit whatever. But against Salah and them, man, are you that agile? Is that with Nunes or Fran? I hope so. That's all I can say. I, I hope so. But is Mohan Bissaka playing against uh? Uh, Salah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Wamba Saka has to go against Salah again. It has to yeah, go. Yeah, Wamba Saka normally locks him. Wamba Saka yes. normally locks him. He locks so, him. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, I was gonna say. Does anyone see any red cards today? I do. Someone's getting sent off. Van Dijk mm-hmm. shouldn't even. You know what? Van Dijk shouldn't even be playing today. How about that? Why is uh-huh. he playing? Let me know in the comments, you salty Liverpool fans, why Van Dijk should be playing after that challenge from last week. Uh, not actually last week, the other day against Sheffield. This is what I mean. These men know what they're doing up above, innit? That's why they let go, like, the, the Crystal Palace penalty. That's why, they, you know, they should have a penalty in the first half. That's why they let go certain decisions, because they want entertainment. It's from the higher-ups. Bait, fam. It's, it's obvious. It's actually... I think, that's, I think that's what VAR's for, you know, just to make the, the, things more entertaining when they can, man. Because they can't uh-huh. manipulate any other situation. VAR, bro. It's there yeah. to make things more entertaining. I, that's a that, that's a fact. It's, it, like so, when I look at Man United, yeah, I can just see us. You got you just got to do what we done last time. Just counter and break. Just counter and break. I want to see what Anthony can do today because you know what, I have no faith in this guy. And yet I got you know when you know when a player yeah gets a couple decent performances under their belt, give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, don't get me re- don't get me wrong. Yeah, he's been playing good like in the last few games. To be fair, he's actually beating his man. He's trying something different. Right foot as well. I like that. I want to see what he can do today. I think he will start, but then it's like, who are you dropping in? Garnacho. Because Garnacho was cooking Gomez. <clears throat> do you know what I mean? Garnacho cooked Gomez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thing is, Gomez does this kind of annoying fouls that he doesn't. He's the guy that people should be looking at because Garnacho right cooked him. And he just he this, right this, back, yeah. yeah, he plays. And he cooked him, yeah. Garnacho yeah. is quite brave. I, I think... I think the key thing is I'm looking at Bruno, man. Leadership today. What leadership? I'm, like, I'm not. I'm. I'm generally. I think the biggest player today Bruno. that you guys are gonna need is Marcus Rashford. Like Rashford. you guys might hate to say it, you might hate to say it, but it's the truth, man. Counter attacking yeah. football is exactly how you're gonna be playing against them. We know that in the transition, he can be a killer, especially when he's playing off that high line that Liverpool are going to be playing. And you know what? Sometimes, especially in the big games, Rashford gets goals. He turns up. Like, I'm not going to say he has the best performances, but he scores goals for Man United when they're needed, especially in these types of games. So I think you guys need to look at Rashford, play him off his strengths, try get him through, um, literally try get him through on goal and that, that's the only way that you guys are going to be able to win this, man. He's literally relying on Rashford and playing nah, to his strength. Nah, G- G- George is spot on. I mean, Rashford loves a big game, man. A big day out against an Arsenal, a, a Liverpool, a City. He loves a goal, man. But what what, what time in the game or what situation will you be in when he gets his goal? Because he probably gets his goal today. But what, that's the problem. what situation are you not going to be in when he gets his Three goal? 3-0 down, isn't it? Consolation. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And mm, yeah, but... Bruno, Bruno's another guy, man. Why are you upset, Gunnelly? Bruno's crap, man. No, but I believe Bruno loves playing this kind. Bruno, I just want to see Bruno do it today. Like he, people be slandering Bruno a lot, but he gives yeah, that. He deserves heart, it. Man. He deserves it a rep. No, I think, I think he's just unfortunate playing for players like and even Ten Hag a bit. Like looking the other side, 
I don't think I've seen a manager having that much injury in a season. Madness. Like, yeah, no, no like, I hear you. I hear like you. People who are coming up for Ten Hag don't even give him a bit of leeway saying, ah, bro, this guy's having Kambawala and he has got five centre backs or something. Kambawala with Maguire in defence against Liverpool, bro. I, like, mean, if, I, I hear if it. If Arsenal had I hear one it, but... injury in one defender, Saliba, or, or imagine Arsenal had Gabby Maganesh and Saliba out and, and that guy, Pimba. And Ben White out. Bro, where would Arsenal be? Ask yourself. Even myself, if I had Diaz out, Stones yeah. out. Cut, uh, cut Eric some slack. That's Vandal what he's trying out. to say. Cut, it's cut difficult. Cut no, 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 no. All right. I think Van Dijk uh, as well. Let me, let me ask you this then, Hamza. Is, was Brennan Johnson in this really day and age anything better than Garnacho? Really? No, he's not. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Son, good. Son's the only anomaly in that front line, yeah, out of all of them. Before the season started, that like, you would bank a lot of your money. Rashford is better than Richarlison, bruv. If not, they're like Richarlison, probably a reward version or a bit better than obviously he's a better number nine if he goes there. The thing is, what I'm trying to say is like, how about coaching some of the, the attacking players? How about some coaching, Aji? Bruno likes to do this erratic thing all the flipping time, which pisses me off. There'd be a ball on and he either under hits it these days or he over hits it. When he gets it right, it looks sick. Don't get me wrong. But more time than less, he doesn't get it right. And people only see when it gets right. And that's what pisses me off. And the thing is, he can't dribble. Can't dribble out of a situation. He's weak. And all he does is want to do is give it away all the time because he thinks someone's there and they're not. No one thinks to be there. No one's making that run, fam. Like, come on, man. If you if you know these players are so brain dead, why are you still trying to like, execute that pass? So what, 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 he, Amar, why does Amar he play that well for uh, Portugal? I, I hope so. He won't start. Why though. does he play good for Portugal and he doesn't play well for United? Bro, he did again because he plays against man like Luxembourg and that. The stat pad his thing. Nah, he's a better yeah, player. Bro, they all do it. They all do it. Do you know it? Bro, yeah, no, you, know it. you know it. Switzerland, Luxembourg, all them teams. They're like are you. International ball is different from club football. Should we? We should all know. It's, we should all know it's, it's a lot slower. It's easier to read the game. I feel like it's a lot more tactical. And yeah, players who don't have like. You know, like a Maguire or something, he's gonna he's gonna thrive in that man. He's gonna thrive. Bro, in the that. World Cup, he was the best player. Who? He was Bruno? the best player in the World Cup. Uh, Bruno. Who? No, Bruno was good in the World Cup, but so were a lot of things. But people he got scammed by his camera back. No, you know? I, I just think that he he plays with McTominay, who's a poor player. A, a man United team that's riddled with injury. He doesn't have killer up front. He doesn't have killers on the wings. He's had a manager who's had a fight with other players like Sancho, losing those kind of players who are elite. And then he is the name that people look up to and say, oh, you have to deliver us. I feel sorry for him because if he played with top players like KDB or Rodri and Bernardo, Haaland up front, I think you're seeing a different phrase of Bruno. A midfielder yeah, who scores as much as world. Lampard. He scores Quite as much as Lampard in a game. I've never seen a midfielder who scores as much as Lampard. He like Lampard in this era. Like Lampard used to score goals. Ma Lampard couldn't do it if there was no Makelele and Essien and, and Robin and Joe Cole. Oh, and we, 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 oh, so and we have the perfect situation. Like, bro, how about some normal dribbling? Like, bro, what are we doing here? Bruno, shit. We all know it as well. Brother, as shit as you lot claim to be, you lot still in the chance of Champions League football. This guy got you a trophy last season. Who got us? Wait, who got us? Bruno hey. did. Who Bruno did? Well, he contributed to you getting the trip. Contributed potentially, yeah, man. I right, one sec. I R nine. R one sec. One sec. You need some better players to have to have around him. One second, mate. R nine. Yeah, you're on your last warning, or yeah, our mods get rid of him in it. You can ban him because this guy is just like. I mean, just, when you start getting personal, man, it's so okay. I don't know you, fam. I don't know none of you in the chat, pretty much. But the thing is, I vibe it, man, in the chat. If you don't, if you don't have a vibe, you chat and never a file. You know what to do, mods. Get rid of him in it. There's no point. I don't need to get personal, man. He's a weirdo. He's getting onto people in the chat as well. But I, I don't even know who he supports. But this is probably what he wanted, right? Some airtime. There you go. There's a bit. Look, one minute of your fame. There you go. Um, but yeah, nah. You know who I'm scared of the most? It's McAllister, bro. I don't know about you. McAllister is a right. monster. That guy, yeah, he's got technique in his locker. Nah. It's, nah, it's, nah it's, Endo's it's, there, man. Nah, and, and Endo's yeah, really a bro. See, the True. thing is, Endo allows him to do what he wants to do, but I'm not, I don't care about Endo, man, too much like that. I'm going to be honest. It's it's just the McCann start. And if they're going to, if they, if they drop Sabozo and they put Curtis Jones on, I think they're just going to run it ragged. Like, even, even the Kobe Minor, like, don't get me wrong, Kobe Minor has to always do stuff by himself in it. Yeah. Dribble out situations, make sure he can get down the line, do something. I do a bit of a madness, 
But when Curtis Jones is there, he's not a bit. He's not a weakling. Is he back today? He's back. Yeah, he's been back. He's been, he's back last game. See, that's that's the midfield that I think that Liverpool wanted for a minute. You know, Endo, McAllister, Jones. It's a bit of a small midfield. Don't get me wrong. Like in terms of height, but that's just all of them are box to boxes if they wanted to be, and they'll just run it out. And the pressure. That's what I, that's what I look at in Man United is that pressure game from Liverpool, and I'm pretty sure. Last time out, Man United applied the pressure in the first, what, set the tone the first 5, 10, 15 minutes. I just got a feeling this time out, Liverpool will set the tone. I think that's that will be a big problem today as well. If you start seeing your players reckless, recklessly press and trying to, you know, run at Liverpool's back line, you, the likes of, well, Rashford doesn't press anyway, but Bruno, um, Garnacho, and Hoyland, and it sort of leaves the big gap in the midfield that you always talk about. They're just gonna open you and split you apart. Like we, we, you guys need to play smart. You, you guys need to, you know, sort of similar to Arsenal against Man City. Oh. Sit on that back line, man. It's literally six at the back, on and just get heavy on that counter. I don't think we need to go six at the back though. That's a bit. I'm not that scared of Liverpool. I'll be honest. I, I, I'm wary. They're I'm wary. I'm gonna pin you back anyway, though. That's my point. No, like, no, I'm, really, I'm, really wary, I'm really wary then, but six at the back is like that's just too much. No, the For point me, is though, if you're gonna be pinned back in your half majority of the time anyway, you might as well put another man in there just to stop because they're gonna put loads of balls in the box. What Liverpool do. Yeah, but, they, but this is what is Jules, though, though. Have we not seen this? This is why I say I don't mind this year. Liverpool can pop the balls about as much as they want, like last time out, and it didn't get them nowhere, right? Because all they're gonna do in the end is cross the ball in the box. Do I trust the, Do I trust any of them in the box against the Maguire and the Cambawala? In in fairness, who's actually good in the air? That's you not know that's in the air, though. Yeah, but I don't trust him. He's got a bad boy header, to be fair. But um, but I I, I trust my defenders in a, in a bit more of a lower block against. The block yeah. But the thing is, for Liverpool as well, like it's not even about scoring from those crosses or anything. It's about the rebounds, the second chances. That's how they tend to get a lot of their goals, man. And even the corners, like you're you're going to be giving away a lot of corners to them, which we know Arnana's not comfy in the air, especially when it comes out to getting crosses, and then. The, the dangerous guys like VVD who loves a big game goal. We've we seen that just a few weeks ago. And when they need one, they'll he'll get them one. So the way that I see it is you can't keep giving Liverpool too many chances in front of your goal. You need to crowd out the box, crowd out the spaces and prevent them from, you know... You said, about, you said about chances. Man United, chances. Bro, we concede about 30 shots per game. And that's my point. Though. If you crowd, You need to crowd out the spaces to try and prevent any of those shots from coming true. Like... Mm. Because or not, let's be honest, Onana's not the greatest shot stop in the world. We've seen that this well, season. He's been he's been doing it to be fair half the season. I I, I thought you can't, I can't lie. I got to feel sorry for him. He a bit. had mistakes as he did at the start of the season. Like he was just making a lot of unnecessary mistakes. But he's still mm -hmm. not the greatest shot stopper. No, I, not, I'm not saying he's a great shot stopper, but I'm just saying of late he's been all right in it. So that's all that's all I'm thinking of. It's just maybe to be fair, actually to be in my eyes. One of those Chelsea goals, you could have prevented 100 million. Oh, 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 hello, He's you got, uh, finally back. Oh, yeah. geez. Family emergency. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. We are back. Um, did we get any score predictions? Sorry, guys. No, not no, of course not. Good, 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 good. No, no, we're like, just talking about like about the game. Like, what midfield do you want to see for Liverpool for Man United? No, Liverpool. I know what man, you don't care what Man um, United. No, I care. What, I no, because if Bruno don't play, I believe you look. When Bruno, listen, when Bruno didn't play last time, I knew you look could slide do something at the back of my head. Do you know what I'm saying? Because Bruno for me, grenade football in it. But um, if we're talking Liverpool, Curtis Jones looked tidy when he come back. McAllister obviously a must. I think Endo obviously Endo wasn't injured. Endo, I think it was just sort of like a he's one yellow card away from a one match ban in it. So. I feel like with Endo, just I think that's anything. ended as well after this game of fixtures. I think there'll be no does more. It, does it reset? Yeah. Are they all reset? The resets are like if you don't get ten yellows, then it's done for the season, pretty much. No more bans. Well, okay. Yeah, well, that, that's probably a tactical call from Klopp. Then, so yeah, I'll say, I'll say Endo DM McAllister. I like what Savosla has been doing the last few games, but I'd honestly go Curtis Jones, even though he's just come back. I'm, I'm one of the... Listen, I keep it a buck. Like, I know Sabozza has not been good enough to start for Liverpool. I know what he can offer in terms of physicality because if you look at Jones, McAllister and Endo, they're all kind of what? Like 5'11", 5'10", same sort of stature. Like, who's the bully? Like, I know Endo's the bully because he's a DM, but who's like the brute? 
a sizable group in that midfield. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if you look, if you want to go for balance, you probably might go Sobo, Sobo to go right centre mid. Sobo. Or the actual ability at the moment and, and the form, even though Curtis has been injured, I think it probably should be Curtis McAllister and and um, and Endo in the six. I don't know if you man think I'm chatting, but I know that's 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 kind of what I think is the best Liverpool midfield right now. Yeah, I said that as well, man, because it would just be pressure from the start from Curtis Jones. The only thing is, it's a little bit lightweight. That's the only thing I'd say about Liverpool's in terms of physicals. But McAllister can put his body about in that as well, you know. Like he's not. He's, I don't think he's a little bit. I don't think he's all anything lightweight. I think Sabozo's definitely a lightweight man. He's a guy you can easily barge off. I'm hoping he starts. I see what Cobby done to him a couple times now. It was a couple times. Was it the first time? I don't even know if he was there in Anfield. Cobby's not some poor strength, you know. Cobby's not no. He's not. A, he's not. A, Dude, is like, it just me? This brother isn't five foot nine, you know. Guy, they say Kobe's five foot nine, yeah, and he was standing next to. Uh, he was like, he was standing next to Maguire signing a photo, and I'm like, brother, you're like, you're like you look like you're a couple inches off my man. Like, pause. He's but. just one of them like Kante built brothers, just stiff, just pure muscle, and just bone everywhere. He's aff, man. Yeah, he's he just, just <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he's like, what part of Africa is he from, man? Uh, Ghana. Yeah, you know, Ghana, he's Ghana, a sh- yeah, yeah. short. Naturally strong, stocky. stocky. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, bare eggs. he's got them, them bow legs. He's got bow legs as well. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Trust me, them bow legs. <laughs> hey, hey. Every man with bow legs got techers, though. You know this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know that, it. You know the fish. Is that, fish. In, is that in Yotto, isn't it? In Yotto, yeah, it's, it's, right, it's, what is right? It's a Velcro. They got the Velcro dribble. They have the Velcro yeah. dribble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of them. You know what I mean by the Velcro dribble, innit? The only difference is that they don't want to pass. You just don't want to pass the ball. No, that's true, man. That is true. Yeah. But they're, they're um, ballers, though. Hey, top Cam, I, to, today, um, I think just before, in January, there was a question that was asked. I can't remember on what platform it was, but people laughed at it when it was asked. So I just wanted to address it to months real quick. Ooh. So if you have to, who who was a better side in this season? So, so Bozo will have it. Um, I have not have us, bro. Have us, bro. It's, it's, it's have like... It, yeah? Yeah, but I wouldn't. Do, I don't think like Havertz has been a sublime signing. Do you know what I'm saying? I think he's just been. I think he's exceeded expectations that weren't very high anyway. And I think so, Sobazlai has oh, underperformed. Yeah. So the second someone's in the underperform perform category, and the second someone's in the, do you know what? We we can we can make do how you've been and what what not. Then do you know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like it's obvious he's been better. I just don't think Havertz has been no revolutionary signing. I think that like, you would have been fine about him. I feel like. He's like I don't know. I feel like he would have been fine about him in terms of. Hey, do, 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 yeah, do you know what? I, I would have preferred we brought in a Kudus. Let me not lie to you, because he he would have been a man. Oh, he's looking. Up, he's he's looking. Team, yeah. Thirty-five million. Yeah, yeah, that's man. crazy. I just, I just, but 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 what happened? He's done well. Like, he's done well meant, time. Hmm? Yeah, but what he's done, he's made sure we've not had to rely on Inketia, and I think that's the biggest thing that he's given us. This <laughs> you know, yeah, that's that. That is that is true. I think again for me. I still stand on business where I say that I, I still stand on the fact that he's the bar for Habits. I still think he's lowered than a lot of, I think it's severely lowered. It's, um, it's crazy low. I feel like if, if when, once Habits has a half decent game, it's amazing. It's like, wow, look at Habits. Yeah, 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 but I know Kunle knows this. So that's why I'm not on Kunle. Like, Kunle, he, he knows this, in it? But that doesn't mean we can't give him some sort of credit. Like, he could only right. beat what's in right. front of him. He still looks good. Um, or he still looks half decent, I'd say, um, in a team who, for me, is functioning the best in the league. And you can't be a scrub. If, you, if you're if you a scrub, you wouldn't be able to do that. He's contributing. You know he's playing his part. He yeah, and he's contributing. And for me, that's all you can ask of him right now. And yeah, like that. And that's the, that's what I'll, I'll keep it. That's what I'll say, really, to be fair. I can't lie. I, I'm looking at this sounds dumb, innit? Yeah, but like I'm I'm kind of looking at habits that I saw at Leverkusen, innit? That's the function I'm seeing him at. People need to understand, yeah. But Leverkusen was Leverkusen's always played a free by the back in it, three, four, three time of thing, yeah. And he's always played sometimes off the right as well, more time than he did down the middle. I think he needs a little bit more for him sometimes, and I think that will come within within times. But when I talk about just normal hold up play, the thing is, we all keep look thinking that this Havertz, yeah. I'm not saying Havertz is the best player in the world, by the way, because in Bundesliga, this confident Havertz is getting double is what he's getting right now. That's a fact. That's easy to say, isn't it? But just from just from normal basics of holding up the ball, linking the play, finishing some decent chances when need be, and also getting involved, it's not that hard to say that, bro. Chelsea 
as much as Man United, when it comes to attackers, is a flipping graveyard, bro, for trying to develop someone, especially in the striking position anyways. It's a graveyard. We keep thinking this is Chelsea Abbots. That's why we keep laughing at him. That's why we did laugh at him. And we had every reason to. No, we we, the thing is, though, that I do still find funny, though. And, and the one thing and he's, that... He's got nine goals. By the, by, the, by the way, just for context, he's got nine goals, five assists, yeah, in the Premier League. And for half the season, he plays central midfield. I mean, we're not... The goals and assists thing, yeah, that's cool, man. Like, there's plenty of... Brennan Johnson's got probably a similar GA. It doesn't make him a good player. I'm just saying no, that. No, yeah, yeah, no, we're no, not going to no, do no, it. You do know Brennan Johnson's got, like, nine assists and, like, six yeah, yeah, goals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brennan yeah, Johnson's yeah, doing his yeah, thing on... His turnovers, no, his turnovers are mad though. That's the difference with Brendan Johnson. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Look, and, and, and they did say like it doesn't make him a good player. But the thing is with Havertz, and again, that I find really funny with Arsenal in general and their fans is look, they signed Jesus the season before, had a half decent season, and he was supposed to be the striker, wasn't the guy. They've signed Havertz now, and he's played in Jesus' position a lot of the season for 60 odd million. So they're pretty much like 120 million down the drain. And he's done a decent job, done them the job for this season. But again, they're saying that he they they're, they're going to need another striker next season. So yeah, Arsenal are looking at being potentially two hundred million down on three players to play the same position. Obviously, sure. have a, can play multiple, but they brought him in as a stopgap. And oh, so, the fact so that they're impressed Jay-Z, with, he can play all over the front three. He can, but let's oh, be yeah. honest. Now, he he, when he was signed, he was signed to be a striker, and 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 again. We know that because me and you argued between our two media strikers, Richarlison and, and Jesus, and done this mid-off for a while. But yeah, as you can see, Jesus is better, man. Come on. We, we, we can't even say that. They've had one I good season each. Nah, 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 we're so so we, we can't even, that's not even a confirmation. But, but, but my point is, is exactly is Havertz is good for what they need right now. But next season, when they bring in a new striker, which I, I don't know, Arsenal fans confirm if that's what they're going to do. I think they need one. Havertz won't really play. He's gonna play in the in like the secondary games and the games where they just need like to switch the team up and so on. Yeah, but that's cool. That's that's a squad though. Like yeah, there's one player that played depth, like, man. Freezy, you you're one of them that actually liked Havertz, isn't it? What do you mean? Did you not like nah, him? Ah, bro. He said he's a freaking hologram. What do you I mean, bro? Oh, so, so, yeah, he was, he, was, he was a hologram. He was, he, he was a hologram. He was a hologram at the, at the start of the season. We're not going to do revisionism because he was walking around and not doing anything on the pitch. And you guys, you, Kunle, wanted it. Bro, bro, we, ne- we, ne- we never attacked you for getting it wrong, bro. We just you said you were one that didn't like him, bro. Bro, already on the defence. No, 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 He's contributing right now, but I'm not seeing anything different to what he was doing at Chelsea, bro. Like, when we won the oh. Champions League, that running, he was good. I think he's worked. You know what I'm saying? I think he's worked. He's, work, he's work rate in his press. Like, just looking at his press. Uh, see, some people need to look at stuff beyond stats and all that. It's the way you close down gaps and the way you're positioned to but make He's always position. done that, though. Even at Chelsea, bro. Like, no, last it, season, no, last no, season, no, he literally, is, no, no, he no, literally no, had, no, he no, literally no, had, no, he literally no, had the most offsides last season, bro. Have no, no, he, yeah, he's offside merchant. I'll give you that. Like his movement has always been like that. I don't I, like ch- like Arsenal fans are looking at it like, oh, Arteta's changed him. Arteta hasn't changed him, bro. I'm seeing the same habits that I've seen at Chelsea, bro. I don't, I don't. Yeah. No, personally, yeah. I don't because you're these lot, these lot will say no, you're not, bro. No, these you know, lot, you know, you know why you're not, Greasy. You know hold why you're not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These lot will say that we misprofiled him, yeah, only to go and try him in left center mid, and now they've put him back to where we were playing him pretty much the whole time that he was here because Lampard tried to try him in midfield as well, and it was the same problem. So we had to move him up top. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing, I'm seeing the same player. I'm not seeing anything magnificent. I'm just seeing someone that's contributing now in a position where he seems to be comfortable. Like, you know what? Hold on, real quick, Ken. I'm just, I'm, I'm uh, going to be hey, in a very fine. Hey, real quick. I, I said that, just in Mal, response to what you just said there. Go on, go on, go on. Um, I, I, I don't believe he's doing the same thing he was doing at Chelsea because we're happy with his contribution and you lot weren't. So I don't think he's doing the same thing that he was doing at Chelsea. No, but there's been times where we've been happy with his contribution. I just said that. Like, like I said, the Champions League running, we're very happy um, with that. You know, last, um, last season was the camel that finally done it. Yeah, because we were, we finished 12th, bro. And the guy was getting chance on chance on chance. Yeah, we were creating chances for this guy, but he wouldn't take them, bro, because he's not he's not clinical. You know what I'm saying? You literally have to play it for him. You know what Jorginho did the other day, yeah? That's what you've got to do for Havertz. Don't give Havertz chances where he's got to think and he's got time. 
just give him a chance where yeah, it's like was good from him though. Like his movement yeah, is play, his play to his strips, bro. Play to his strips. You, you, must be good, bro. You, you must be good, pissed. Bro. You must be pissed that there's two Chelsea man up in that side. There's two Chelsea man up in that side that could potentially win in the league, and that cost them a little meat. Like it'll be, that, that them bees will be nothing if they win the league. Oh, I don't feel, I don't feel no, I don't feel no type of way because I gave Havertz last year was actually the only time where I washed my hands with him. Yeah, I was like, listen, if he stays, he stays cool, but he can't be in the eleven. Yeah, Lewis hates him. And bro, ask Lewis yourself. I was going back and forth with Lewis even last season. I said, bro, Havertz ain't as shit as what you're making it out in it. Yeah, because we've seen some good performances from him. Let's be real about it. I even remember last season when we played Dortmund. He was very good, bro. Um, when we played them at home, I was like, bro, like, why don't we see this Havertz more often? And then in March, he loves to turn up in March as well. That's one thing about him. Yeah, but it's just he was never that guy to take us to where we want to go. You know, he never scored more than ten goals in the league, and he would play week in week out up top. You know, he's obviously playing in a better system right now. And he's taken a little bit of time to get used to it. But honestly, I'm not seeing a, a, like a, like an upgraded version of Havertz. I'm literally seeing a Havertz that I've seen at Chelsea, bro. I'll be real. I'm not I see Arsenal. Arsenal like, from a neutral point, I'll be honest. From a neutral point of view, yeah. Havertz, again, the bar is in, the bar's been lowered for him. But I think both parties won with Havertz. Chelsea got 65 million out of it and a Champions League medal. And Arsenal have actually got them like at least... At least three quarters of their money's worth already so far for 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 what he's doing right now in the busy end of the season. I think it's as simple as that. It doesn't best have to be job, who, who's come off better, who's come off better, and I don't want to hear oh this is his best season because none of the seasons it's, have been scintillating for for the best season to be like oh my god. There's no oh my god. I know, I, statistically, anyways, he's having his best season, and even on the eye, on the eye, he's having his best season as well. No, 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 bro. He's okay. The only thing he had was. Yeah. certain things on the eye when he was before he left Chelsea I'm, I'm not the last season but the other two seasons he had at Chelsea man was saying it's the bit up until the finish exactly bro let me my club let me my players so, my so, players so that means so that means on the eye yeah that's that's crazy but that is crazy you know that's that is crazy that is I don't get I don't give a shit if you want the shirt, look at 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 If you want a shirt, holler me in it. I've got. I mean, oh, Cass, Cass, right, Cass, Cass, what, Okay, you answer this then. Yeah, you tell me then. What What is he doing now at Arsenal that he wasn't doing at Chelsea? Um, for me, I feel like he's taking a bit more responsibility. Like he's playing in a, not in a three four three under like a two call. He's playing as a lone striker, and I feel like he's making that thing his own in it. Like. I feel like the hold-up play has always been good at with Chelsea. Now, actually, to be fair, his hold-up play at Chelsea was always decent. I, I'll give you that. You know, it's been as a decent. decent. But for <laughs> me, I don't get what you're saying. No, no, not really. Like, it would be played... Because Mount... Like, the thing is, the way, the way I saw you lot play, you've always played with wing-backs, innit? And then you've always had... Yeah. Uh, you always had people tucked in close to him and all that kind of stuff. I just see a, a Havertz... I think his work rate's I think his work rate's ten times better than he has been at Chelsea. It's, it's always been good. He's always, he's always, he's always, he's always been good. Goes, at the way he closes it. down is always been better, and I think his positioning is genuinely better. Like his the thing is his the thing is he's always made good runs. He's always got into good positions, but on the pitch itself, I feel like he pe- takes up a lot more intelligent positions. So that's, that's like that's, no. and, that's, and, that, and that comes, down, that comes down to good coaching, maybe, or just having a good set of players. Yeah, you got to play better, but I just feel like okay. he's just. He's a lot more confident. I think he's just that little bit better. I'm not saying he's the best thing since slash, but no one's saying that, yeah. And I don't even know why we're even having the COVID habits conversation, really. But the fact of the day is, you Chelsea fans, yeah, you bozos, yeah, cannot stand the fact that there's a Chelsea man that fell at your shitty club, yeah, and got you a Champions League, yes, and probably got whatever the golden trophy. It's just it's thriving at a better club, regardless of the trophy situation. But I, the thing is, Cass, I knew he would do better at Arsenal. Though. And the fact is, what did you hard. replace him? No, you did not. No, you did not. No, you did not. He's been in the Hold on, hold on. What I said, what I said, what I said, yeah, what I said. My take throughout the whole summer, I said Havertz is not going to take you to the next level that you want to get to. Yeah, but I said he's going into a better system, which means that he should be playing better. Right, start of the season. He wasn't looking good in a, in a, in a well drilled system because you were playing him out of position, and you know kept saying we misprofiled him only to go and put him back up top. Do you know what I'm saying? Cass, you're talking about eyes oh, finding himself in better positions, bro. You're saying that because he's scoring, he's scoring more goals now. Yeah, he's scoring because, more goals. That's the yeah, only reason. Obviously, he's the fact, obviously, he's the him fact, doing no, better does contribute <laughs> to that. But... Okay, the, point that, the point I'm making, yeah, is that Havertz's movement has always been good. Even yeah, at Chelsea, he's finding himself in good positions. 
his movement has always been good. That's that's not what what my thing with my, my thing with him has always been his ability on the ball is is so annoying and his finishing. He's right? never been his loved. That's ball, where it is. Though. He's never been truly loved. In, in his ability on the ball now, has been. Good. Like, if I if, 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 if I want to be, you weren't loved. Like, right, nah, hey, 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 hey. Well, yeah, he definitely exactly. wasn't loved by me. I give him that hundred percent. But yeah, fact, the members of the fan base definitely showed him more love. Like give him yeah, a chance. Yeah, yeah. And all this, all this extra hype in him, like when I'm he scored the penalty, there love. was a lot of extra hype in him building his confidence. And now, even with the song, he's at one with the song. Like he, you can <laughs> see, he's playing. He's you can see he's playing with a little level of confidence, and he's trying and. And he's using, yeah, he's saying, utilizing it. He's utilizing his strengths better. And I said it, guys. I said it at the start of the season. If he wins us this league, if he wins us this league, then I'm gonna come on this stream with a habit shirt, shamelessly. Bro. Do you, do you know but what the thing, thing is, boys, like, like, he's saying this, yeah. No, 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 There's a huge no, part of fan base that loved Havertz, bro. That no, loved him. Bro. Don't we? Don't we need to? We need to? We need to just. Do you know what we? Uh, what else we need to utilize? Sorry, before we carry on about Kai Havertz, is the lax. There are a thousand people in here. You need to rise up the likes. If you haven't hit the like button already, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button below. Um, listen, if Kai Havertz wins, you look the league. Yeah. And if he actually does, we, you know, imagine if he even scores the winning goal. Yeah. I, I don't know what the internet... I, think, I feel like generally the internet's going to go in, in, in back. I can't even... Oh, 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 with a Jorginho. And he does this. I'm getting cancelled. I know that for sure. I'm getting cancelled. 100%. Bro, I'm going to Barbados with Roms if that happens. I'm telling you. Bro. But, bro, I, I'm I, following I, you there, Don. I'm following you there. I will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what, though? I feel like a lot of things can be short lived with um, not just Arsenal fans. I think fans in general. I'm not going to say are just Arsenal fans, but obviously, I remember Ramsdale being called the third best keeper in the league. And all of this stuff, and second best keeper in the league of the season you had last year. Now, 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 man, want him out. He's not good enough anymore, and all of these things. So I feel like it's going to be really interesting to see on his trajectory. Does he can continue going up, or and does he actually get a level that a respectable level to be measured by? Because I think his measuring standard is not respectable. I all I know, all I know once how long he's been in the prem. But I still think he's got. I still think he's got a good season. I still think he does have a good season. Did he not in his fourth Premier League season? Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. I guess, mm-hmm. guess, get, get his, get his, get his thing out of your mouth, man. You're just what? gobbling, gobbling, slurping on stuff right now, man. Get what? out, man. What? Get what? it out of your mouth, man. Don't watch what I'm doing, G. Are you, are you, nah, you, man, you even, even showing us fast for tops yeah, you, you are just watching me. To be fair, to be fair, though, I've got bare other tops as well. There's a Chelsea one in there. <laughs> one in there. Yeah, Arsenal top was wild. I'm that is lie, shameless. I, I, <laughs> that's I, wild. They actually top. Terry, they wear red. They wear red. They wear red. Be awesome. Do you understand? Do you see him and Terry? Yeah, I see through it, bro. Him and Cass. I see through it. The thing is, yeah, but the thing is, the difference between me and Terry, I can fucking admit it. I don't give a fuck. You think I care? Yes, I'm talking for them permanently right now until the end of the season. Do you feel I care? I don't have to lie about it, bro. So what's going to happen when it comes to OT then? What's going to happen when it comes want, to OT? I want us to roll over. You if it means I'm in the league. No, because you're not, you're not going to understand. On, yeah. Yeah. You're not going to understand. Really you that all think, yeah, with your fucking tribalism heads and think about next season and the summer, about what Arsenal fans are going to do to you and never going to let you uh, live it down type beat, yeah? For me, I'm in the predicament, obviously, of history. History matters to me more where it's recorded. Something that George doesn't realise in the modern day because he sports Tottenham, yeah? <laughs> is I can't have Liverpool having 20 titles and two prems on man's head, yeah? At least even that. The one is bad enough, yeah? And it will always remind us that about that season that happened in fucking COVID. Other than that, then you've got four Pete. I'm not seeing a four Pete in my lifetime. 99.9% probably not happening, yeah? Never say never. Inshallah, you never know. Right, but at this point, I'm in the worst predicament. So if I need to go and twerk for a team because I want to online on YouTube because I can do whatever the fuck I want, I will do so. This it will be the same way if Chelsea were top. Oh my word, I'll get the blue top out. You think I care? I'll start doing the um that you know your little thing before you like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> man. man even knows the song and that. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, man. GTA two settings, man. If, if you had GTA two, you know that song as well. Um, Godson, uh, Liverpool will be round out today. Uh, babe, what do you, babe? That's Yo, for you, cats. That's for you, bro. <laughs> you got you got a baby, you got a baby there. You got, you got some baby. Like, you got a baby there. 
Say less. Say less. Oh, hold on. Even blush. Even blush. I look. Look at okay. the cheeks. Man. Man's turning <laughs> red in that, man. Relax, <laughs> big <laughs> man. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. He's like, shut, <laughs> shut. <It's true laughs> cheeks, man. Had to go off screen in that. Hey, 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 hey babes. Hey, you man are moving nuts. I, I, baby, baby. He's not even looking at the camera, but I'm looking, looking, looking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kaz, literally yeah. same color as his top right now, bro. Still be peaks, mate. I can't even hold eye contact. Man can't even hold eye contact. Uh, he's not. He's not about none of it. Bro. Went off screen, on screen, under screen, all sorts. You back, Kaz? Yeah, back. man. Talking Gabriel improvement year on year is mad. Gabriel is the best center back in the league right now, bar Van Dyke. Them two on like that. Them two are like that. Maybe no you're talking about, about Romero, but. Bro, no, and everyone's forgot about him, bro. Except you Spurs fans, bro. He's dead. Because he's generally the best, like apart from Van Dyke, the best. It, even league. you can't even get it out of your mouth, bro. Because look, it's not the it's not the case. It's not the case, bro. Let me just say something. Average Let me just say something. Like, shameless you see Gabriel, you see, you see Gabriel, yeah. He's that guy's that, that guy, that guy's levels, man. I can't even lie, man. That guy's good. That guy's good. That, he always he always had a bozer moment in him, yeah. But now it's he like he's become. Out, He's become that leader as he's gotten older. He's become that leader. You know, this season has been better than Saliba. I remember last season when he came back from the World Cup, when um when when everyone came back from the World Cup, he was even better than Saliba in the second half of the season. He's stepping up, man. He's stepping up. And listen, strikers they don't want to play against guys like this, man, because the way he covers the the wide areas, he's onto you, touch tight, bro. I, I can tell he talks to people as well. In his oh, you see what he did? Yeah, yeah. He, 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 he loves the shit housery. He loves getting in their head and all that. Lashes. No, he's got them gnashes as well, isn't it? Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah, beast. Bro. Sometimes I think he's like, it's, it's like he does look like he's about to kiss them or something. Like he's real up close in your face. I love that, bro. I love that in defenders, bro. And he loves oh, to defend. You love what? I, no, no, no. As in, as in, bro. As in, that you bear close to man. He's ready for that. Rattling them. You got to do all of that, bro. These are the intangibles in the game. When you bear close to man after that. Wow, that was wild. Nah, man, but he's, he's ready for a hey, scrap. He's yeah, ready for a scrap, man. 100%. Sunday, so I'm, I'm with what Don saying. I hear it. Yeah, and, and you see Don on, on Twitter just shut a man down about when someone's like, Do you, people that don't even know, they don't even play football, don't even know what they're talking about, and it's like, right, here you go, send a clip <laughs> with him dumping that free man, fam. <laughs> yeah, that guy's a child for at me like that, honestly. Well, I do know them men look like they're pub players, but it still counts in it. It's all about <laughs> how you slow that down, down the game. Um, yeah, and no, Arsenal was on slaps yesterday against Brian. They're bogey, they go over the bogey team, innit? Honestly, I can't lie, Jules. They, they're, they're holding something for you, man. Forest, no, 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 no. Arsenal, I think they come back. I think they beat you still. I think you might have to roll over a little bit just for the better of the league. Hey, George knows it, bro. He's just holding holding the, the confidence right now to the big to the big day. Oh yeah, my! I, I, I have. I he have knows what time it is, bro. Full confidence in my team that like, we. No, leaving, you do not, bro. Even with three points against you're not, you, you're not leaving with not. nothing, bro. You're not. Even, we're not even giving you one point. That, that game's two weeks away. Two weeks, away. Is it two weeks away. Two weeks away. Something like that. It's the maybe, maybe three weeks. Away. Yeah, no, no, it's yeah. the last, last, literally last weekend of this month. Three, so three weeks away. That's mad. Yeah. I can't wait for that game, personally. Why are you not, why are you acting like you're not sure? You're not in that fixture, though, anyway. Why is that? Because our fixture list has been rescheduled. We've literally bro, got... We've, we've bro, got we're the playing a game every two or three days to the end of the season, bro. It's doing? not even the point of playing a game every two three days is the problem. It's the teams that we have every two three days. So we've got Arsenal, and then we got Chelsea, and then we got City. Liverpool. City. And then I think we got City the week in the midweek after that. So what you're saying it's hope. Mm -hmm. It's hope. It's hope. Mm -hmm. nah, it's just that there's gonna be a few. There's gonna there's gonna be. My point is that there's gonna be one or two of those games that we're probably gonna have bad performances in, and probably gonna have to just accept that we're not gonna walk away with nothing because there's gonna be too tight turnaround. It's just called the Tottenham test. Hmm? Like I said, you got. It's just called the Tottenham test. We all play Tottenham. You can pass the test in it. Facts, facts. This is nothing to you, do with Liverpool. Have the advantage out of all of them. Liverpool are playing us after we've already had the Arsenal Chelsea game, so you got you look all right. Yeah, but you don't might be in the swing of things like you, you know, when you, you're, you're playing hard matches one after one, you might be in the swing of just playing quality sides in, 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 in a zone, yeah, in a zone. Man. Yeah, you know, when you're in the zone and you're not thinking and you're just in the zone, that, that could be that. Have, or, have Spurs ever been in that zone? Yeah, you're taking the piss, <laughs> you're taking the piss, just waffling. 
I'm, I'm just asking questions once. That's it. I'm asking right, well, uh, Gabriel's yeah. so good. He shit his pants without Saliba last year. Um, no, but th that's last year. This year's Saliba is different from last year's Saliba, isn't it? To be fair, like everyone has their moments. I think obviously right now he's just he's just thriving a lot better. Uh, B uh, says uh, United fans say Liverpool will end up like you when clock goes. No, we'll drop off a bit, but you guys gave us a blueprint on how not to do it. It's how great goes. People think that Liverpool are going to keep dropping off. And if we go back, if we go back to that year, Chelsea was a different anomaly, innit? They had a whole change. Like it was, a, it was a whole ownership. It was everybody from top to bottom, pretty much, right? This is Liverpool. They got people forget they got Michael Edwards as their CEO, bro. The guy knows what he's doing. Like, trust me. Like, I'm not saying he's going to get everything right, but more time than less, he gets things right. Does like this right twice? Don't even, don't yeah, don't even think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only thing is, is like, obviously the manager's the anomaly. It's always going to be the manager. It's always going to be down to the manager. He's good. They're going to recruit well. They're going to build a team. Whether it's not next year, probably the year after, maybe they're a good side, bro. They got good young team. You know, people think they're old. They're not old. Look at their midfield. Look how young their midfield is. It's this. I can only imagine what sort of wingers that my man must be eyeing up as well. Because I know he's not going to be happy with what he's got. Like at this moment of time at his disposal, because it's, it's bait. Like the Regis and all them, man. But yeah, Liverpool's going to be uh, firing. I didn't even get to the score predictions from earlier before we even talk about anything else here. Yeah? But what do you, man, actually think the score prediction is going to be today? Because I'm going to 2-1 United, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to back it. I said 3-1 I said three one Liverpool, man. United, uh, When we've done the, the, the squad with Jules and Terry and that. Uh, KJ, big them up, yeah. Um, I said 3-1. I just I just think you lot are just booky, man. I think you'll score. I think you'll score a goal. Probably Ganacho again or something like that. You know. Rush for yeah, it's, it's going to be a rush for the consolation goal. Like once, once uh, Liverpool three 0 up, it's going to be. You think he's going to start after the other day, bro? He might not start, but even if he comes on, I can see Rashford grabbing, grabbing something, man. That guy, that guy. He's a big game like, player. Big game player. Done. He'll score. Nah, he is, big he game. is, but I don't think he'll start. I don't think he'll start. I don't know if he'll start the game though, because Anthony, he can't. He can't get dropped. Liverpool's pretty good. He'll get dropped. Yeah. Anthony. He'll, 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 he'll probably get dropped, to be fair. Bro, after the other day, if he gets dropped, yeah, that is a that is a howler, bro. As much no, as I don't even rate Anthony like that, yeah. You've I got to start. Um, him. Nah, you got start him, man. No, nah, I don't think he'll, I don't think it will start to be fair because God actually got two goals, so he's just gonna think that and Rashford's Rashford. You can't in a derby, yeah. Anthony's getting dropped, mate. I don't want really, I don't really want Anthony against yeah, a Joe really. Gomez or Robertson either. I just want Garnacho to hey, dip. Anthony's him. coming into his own, bro. Gomez, if he does, if he does what he did again, um, again like what he, like how he played against Cucurella, he can do Gomez on that side, bro. I know Gomez has been good this season, but Gomez ain't a ain't a, a ain't a fullback. You I can't I mean? like Gomez has been one of the better left backs in the league this year. Period. I know he has. And then what happened last time he's, that he he's played? Not, he's not Kukurea. Kukurea is like Cucurella, fam. He's not the same. Yeah, but bro, come on now. You're talking about Anthony. The guy was just leaving, man. Leaving, man. He can do the same to Gomez. He's quick. Yeah, you maybe. Know, he actually showed a bit of pace. He actually showed a bit of pace. The lineups are out when? In a, probably about another hour and 10 minutes. But yeah, look, guys, it's like, oh, it's still like 1,100 of you in it. If you haven't done so, smash the likes as you're hearing this back as well. Even if you're not watching it live, likes are important. You know how it goes. We've asked, this is probably the most we've asked per stream. But other than that, um, has anyone not said a monster? Yeah, and... yeah go, on, go on, go on, Well, I was going to yeah, two on Liverpool. Yeah, you man don't even care about that yeah. shit for a game, innit? All I'm going to yeah. say about that game is we must. That's it. <laughs> we must We must collect all three. Anyhow, Don. Anyhow. Are you playing today? You're playing today? Tomorrow? I'm playing after you. But it's not on TV, which is good. <laughs> oh my god, you, I actually forgot you don't even play today, bro. <laughs> I, I actually oh, forgot you don't have a game today. Yeah, no one cares about you, man. Nah, real talk, bro. Mm, you know what's so yeah, crazy, no. bro? Like, um, at one point yesterday, if the results stayed the same, we would have and we win today, it would have been seventh. Obviously, West Ham won, so I think the most we can go up now is be two points if, behind. If, if, FC, you know, we're ninth, we're ninth, which is a you know, we're going up. Every other week, we're going up. <laughs> so you literally just when you sat behind if, West Ham Newcastle. You know, if FC, yeah. bro, just come and if I, FC. But I'm telling you, I hear right battling for that eighth place, you, you a conference league well, position, man. It's fair games in hand, though. We've got like three I, games I, in hand over West Ham, two games in hand over a couple of teams ahead of us. I'm saying yeah, this now: Chelsea are not winning today. I just, uh, Sheffield United have actually been playing well recently for their standard. Something is there's a blip in the market, and Tottenham aren't winning today either. Watch. Alanga's no, going to win 3-0 in it. I'll tell you that now. 
you know I checked people's United last win was in, was in February, bro. Yeah, and we're charity FC, so I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you guys remember when we played them at the bridge, remember that first half? Shocking dross. Oh, was it at Sheffield? We were nothing. Is that Sheffield? No, it was, yeah? at, it was at no it was at Sheffield today, yeah. But we beat them at the bridge. Yes, Cole Palmer scored Sheffield, for Cole. Yeah, I, 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 I hate Chelsea, bro. Dickheads. Um, but yeah, look, <laughs> if you have just a quick reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe in it. Um, just a little reminder there. But other than that, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. Really, look, Man City are holding up some good pressure at the moment. They're playing, you know what? Man City are playing some madness at this moment of time, innit? Like last few games, couple games, whether it's from the Aston Villa game last game, bro. This is looking like the Man City that I kind of expected to hit, and then you're all of a sudden, all them folding. Obviously, I'm included. Like folding in a ten, that like, KDB just told us all to shut the f up. Literally. That guy is ridiculous. I'm actually surprised he's only got 100 goals now because I remember like Stephen Gerrard. Yeah, got, same like, here, bro. Hot, Stephen Gerrard got like 115 goals or something like that, 100 odd goals, yeah, in like nine years, in like what, in in like eight, seven years, something like that. Yeah, about eight years, and he's only, he's done it in nine now. And obviously Frank Lampard's an anomaly in it because <laughs> he's an anomaly in it. But yeah, look, KDB is shutting up, man. Haaland still looks a little bit dusty, to be fair. But other than that, they're all going on form. And I, I can't lie. This is where that... You know that city that we all know? Bro, that, that was Vintage City, man. It reminded me of... You know when they used to cut back with Sane and Sterling? Constantly, bro. That's what it oh, reminded it's, me of. It's it's the, it was the cutbacks and the low crosses, fam. Oh, oh, man. oh, oh man. All you saw... Oh, you know, my... They're going to underlap it. They're going to underlap it. They're going to underlap it. Bro, Aguero was the master of them one-touch finishes where it's across the mm. body, whether he has to put it near post, far post, put your foot through it. Any cutback and low cross, he was just there. Was just one of the things is that wasn't Vinic, though, is that defence, bro. They were, Crystal Palace were getting at them. Crystal Palace could have had a yeah, third well, off. Yeah, 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 they should have. Oh, what's That's the guy, the new you, the from, from Blackburn? Is it Wharton? That one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. If you put in a better pass for, was it, was it Meteto or was it uh, Ayu or something like that, I think, or Eze? I don't know. I think it might be. You got, you got, you got the for the first. Yeah, you had some good chances as well. You know, I had some break. big chances. He was on a break here, yeah, and it was like four and two in it. And all he had to do was he had two. He had obviously Mateta and and I on the right, and I think it was Teresa, and he overhit it, and he's like, brother, that's an easy goal. Like in my opinion, you know, it was an easy hey, goal. Hey, you know, Chelsea fans are shameless, isn't it? You know, because we we played Blackburn in the um was the was it Carabao Cup or FA Cup? We played the FA Cup. Yeah, FA we Cup. Know yeah, Adam Moore yeah. played, didn't he? He, he, like, he played very well. Bro, there was some Chelsea fans saying sign this guy, you know, after that game. <laughs> you know I can't lie, bro. He, 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 he's, good. he's old, bro. He's, not, he's good. He's good. I can't lie. I like him, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to sign him, though. I wouldn't want to no, sign no, him. I hear it. What was the, the last one I was going to say, yeah, is this whole penalty thing, in it, just before, wherever. Do, do you reckon that really changes the result, though? Like, beat Black... Like, do you think there's... Well, against, the, against Brighton? No, no. Not yesterday. Like, you know the penalty? That should have been a penalty, I think, from City... Um. So oh, they put down my man in the box. It looked like a bit of a penalty. I think it was. Is it Ed? never right to eat up in it? I wouldn't say. It. Well, it does change the game, but I wouldn't say it stopped them from winning. I still think they win the game regardless. I know there's a there's a bit more of a different approach to it, but they still tried to do what they do, which was five five no five four one pretty much. It, I don't think anything changes in my opinion because City was going to win. Didn't they take? Didn't they draw? Yeah, they took a point at there. They had two nil down as well. Two nil down. What that was the penalty in it last minute. The, the, way, they, the way they were attacking the box was scary, though. I can't lie, man. That's, yeah, bro. That's it's... the nice thing that you're, that you're not trying to meet. I can't lie, man. When they're playing like this that. Is, this is why I don't get on to Jack Greedish. Like, when he has, when he's in the team, there's a massive difference. And people don't want to hear it. But mm. that, in the system he's in, it's, it's, a, it's a bit mad. Uh, the way he played yesterday doesn't work against all teams. Well, no, nah, maybe not. Maybe not. But in Champions League, you know, like they got Real Madrid coming up. At, like Dax is in Spain right now, I think. Or he's, he might be right, on the plane. Madrid, hey, Madrid might touch them, you know. Madrid might touch I think so. If, 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 they, if they, they can see the type of chances they Wait, did no against Kyle, Palace. No Kyle Walker? Walker. No Kyle Walker? Walker. No, no, I won't. Yeah, no, so no, City might get touched. Oh, yeah. Vinny will be loving that. Vinny will yeah, be loving that. Play Oscar Bob and that. I dare you. I dare you, Pep. I dare nah, you. You know, you know he's not going to do that. I, I can't lie. Wait, I dare you. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. Hey, it's it's not so annoying, if though, Rico man. Lewis, if I see Rico Lewis and Oscar the Sharks play, I swear down. I, I, I dare you, Pep. Why, why, have they, why have they put the Arsenal game and the City game on the same day as well, man? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's, it's, on it's on the same day and the same time, bro. I checked no, it yesterday. I'm pretty sure I changed. I saw it yesterday um, as well. Tuesday. You know what? You're absolutely right. 
You're absolutely right. On Tuesday, both on Tuesday, bro. And then Wednesday is the Atletico Madrid Dortmund and uh, PSG Barcelona, bro. So we like I'm gonna have to watch two games yeah, at that's, once. That's basically. annoying, man. That's annoying still. And, well, and they're and they're the best games. I don't get why they put them on the same day, man. So who's on Wednesday then? I just told you a flair called Madrid and Dortmund and PSG in Barcelona. That. So Arsenal and Man City are playing on the same day at the same time. Uh, why, why, why don't you just move one of the I Spanish teams? Don't even yeah, bother watching the Spanish teams, teams play on different days, but the English teams play on the same day. That's, that's, that's just dumb, man. That is just dumb. Quick one. Um, Robert, uh, Kai Press made smart runs at Chelsea, but I had man like Mount or cover behind him with poor final ball quality delaying passes, which kept making him be offside. I, I mean, that's a good, you know what? Yeah, that's fair a enough. Very good, good shout. Good shout, but he's better. Yeah we, yeah, we didn't really have creativity in the midfield, man. It was our fullbacks. So it's yeah. right way. Yeah. I, I, can, we, can we all admit one thing now, yeah? Aston Villa and their blitz. Yeah. Aston Villa and their blitz. It's uh, Tottenham's. Did they not, did they not pump? Did they not win yesterday? Class, that highlights to me what I said about Man United. Two and and Arsenal, it, yeah. You know when you said you could take top four? The reason I disagreed with you was because it's not about what Villa and Spurs are doing. It's about you, what you United are doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That like, you can't even count on yourself to put together three wins yet. Like, because if you actually Let's put start them today, you would have been so there, Cass. You would have been so there. You would have mm. been there, ready for the capitulation. No, today. you're right. Are you, even talking? Uh, you, might, uh, you might have to bring Fergie in for the team talk today, bro. I'm not gonna lie. No, every time is every time that he's had some sort of advice, giving advice, we end up getting smoked. Yeah, one point gap confirmed, yeah. Who's that? The 12 point gap would be confirmed today, but you're not winning, <laughs> and also that 12 point gap you got four big teams that you're losing to anyway, so it could still be closed. All right, close like a gap in the tooth, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, what wait, I'm saying? hold on, uh, Cass, I had a question for you before you wrap up. Yeah, I don't know if this is true, but I saw Culture Cam's tweet something along the lines of. Plus 51 GD for Arsenal and United have minus one. Maybe because I was on the winning side, but I'm not sure if the gap between the two teams has been this big before. Has it been that big before? Between you? Between you, man. Arsenal and, 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 and you guys. The, the goal difference. I have no idea, like, in terms of all of that, in terms of gap difference and all that kind of That's stuff. Because they, as much as we've been horrendous, Arsenal have also been horrendous as well at the same time. So we pretty much capitulate near You've never been that like good, though. Oh, you've never been like competing for titles while it's Arsenal were that bad. Like when Arsenal yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's, if you've been I, I, don't, I don't, I don't ever remember Arsenal even in their mud days, yeah, ever conceding this many chances like no, this. No, they, they, they have been. There has nah, been. Not like nah, this, they used to, they used to just be, they used to just make some individual mistakes, bro. Bums, 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 like David Luiz, not David Luiz, sorry, Mustafi. Even David Luiz would lose his head at times. So you had guys crazy. like that making no. silly oh, I, mistakes. I, don't, I think the difference is Arsenal. Arsenal have always managed to score goals. Score, they've conceded loads, but scoring has never been their issue, innit? They've always mm -hmm. found a way to, to score, and, and that's credit to them, bruv. Like, whether it's Wenger or whoever, who, it don't matter what does, they could have Yaya's a no go in the, in, in the front line, they'll still score a goal somehow, you know what I'm saying? Shamak in his first season, was it his first or his second? Yeah, his first, nah, his first yeah. season, he started off well, like it was cold, it was like, Nine goals in 12 bro? games or something, it was mad. Now, for me, Man United, look, we're on calls to having a one more loss. It's worse than David Moyes' season. That's all I have to say. Drop the mic. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One more loss. 13. Yeah. We, we're Come having, on, United. We're having a worse season Let's than have it David Moyes' season. Have it. Are you fucking dumb? And you and people say, oh, you know what you're going to do? He's going to stay next. He ain't staying next season. We had a better, we've got a better team now than we did with David Moyes, like, in my opinion, because everyone else, well, actually, probably not, but we had Tom Cleverley in midfield and then Mansell, and we had an aged up flipping Rio Ferdinand and Evra the old guard was done out. It was literally why it's called an old guard. But oh, it is what it is. But yeah, look, pick up everyone. Make sure you smash the likes on the way out. Do subscribe and look at everyone's got their channels in their, in their respective names. It was Tunnel TV, Big Six Bants, and also uh, Greasy Don's, obviously, uh, Don CFC. We're on the road to 25K. Pick up for the 22K. Um, yeah, man, and we keep striving and moving. But enjoy the game. I'm going to be on Coppish, I think, I think, straight afterwards. Um, and then I'll be back on here tonight. Oh, I've got to, I only want to deal with Guna Lee, yeah, man. Check out the reactions on Tunnel tonight. They're going to be lit. Guna, yeah, you know, Guna Lee, man. Oh, I need to win this one still. I need to win. All right, in a bit.